Well, I promised you all a video on my fascinating life. Here it be. The video that you have all been waiting for. Except, of course, for those of you who have no interest in my fascinating life, in which case, I'm not actually talking to you. Is it so much to ask that you not be noisy out there while I'm making the video? Really? Really, is that so much to ask? So here it is, Matt's terribly fascinating life. In five color-coded parts. Yeah, I actually color-code my post-its. Judge me. Part one, purple for performances. So I've shared this on Shiny Happy Vloggy People. Well, actually, technically Marky shared it on Shiny Happy Vloggy People. Regardless, this has been shared on Shiny Happy Vloggy People. But now I'm going to share it here, because I can. I have been cast a role in Children of Eden, which is a wonderful musical with music written by Stephen Schwartz. It is basically the book of Genesis, and Act 1 is Adam, Eve, Cain, and Abel, and I am playing one-fifth of the snake that tempts Eve in the garden. The way it works is that the snake is basically five members of the chorus that undulate, you know, like a snake across the stage, and speak as one voice, but in interchanging five voices. It, you know, it, you understand it when you see it, but it's hard to explain. Anyway, I am one of those voices, and then I get to sing a soft shoe number, and that's fun. So I'm looking forward to that. Children of Eden is one of my favorite musicals, and it will be a vast improvement on the dinner theater from two years ago, which was Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, which I hate. Let's move on. Part two, blue, which is for, what's blue for? Work. Blue is for work. Actually, really, blue is for church, but they kind of go together because I work at a church. Yeah, this is something I'm not sure if I've actually mentioned on this channel, but I am the bell choir director at the church where I attended as an undergrad and where I am attending now. We played a piece last Sunday and it went very well, and now we are working up a piece for next month. And I'm enjoying it. It's fun. It's, you know, it's a job. And it's a job doing something that I actually am trained to do and that I actually enjoy doing. Part three, green for money. So some of you might recall back when I was doing my Lenten charity donations that there were a couple of philanthropic opportunities that I mentioned but didn't get to act upon. These are the two things that I mentioned on Fat Tuesday, recycling old electronics and supporting local art. I'm going to talk about the supporting local art portion of that video because I have done that and I am wearing that support. I bought this way cool shirt at the Black Swamp Arts Festival a couple of weeks ago. Here's the back. It's a silhouette of an elephant and the elephant's reflection. Awesome. The Black Swap Arts Festival is something that Bowling Green does every year. It's a weekend where they basically close down downtown and have a bunch of stands up of local art. And there's a lot of good artists there, and so I took that opportunity to spend $30 on a shirt and support a lady who makes way cool shirts like these. So yay supporting local artists. Part four, yellow for school. Grad school is going well. I have just finished the fifth week of classes, and I have well, I have plenty of complaints, but none I'm going to enumerate here. I'm taking four classes altogether. Two of them are ensembles. The other two are a research class and a philosophy and history of music education class, the latter of which is being absolutely fascinating, and I love it. One of the nice things about grad school is that I'm not taking any classes that I don't absolutely need. Like, there's no gen eds for grad school. I'm only taking classes that are going to be necessary for the work that I want to do. Which is great, because it means I'm usually not bored. And finally, part five, pink for YouTube. So, I realized recently that I am fast approaching 150 subscribers on my channel. This is very exciting, and it also gives me license to make a few requests of some of my subscribers for video ideas that I have. I have three such requests. Request number one is probably the easiest one, so I'll do that one first. Now that I have all of these viewers, I'd kind of like to do a Question Tuesday video. I mean, everyone else is doing it, right? So if you would please leave me some questions in the comments of this video, I will answer them at some point in the near future. Request number two goes out to my video making subscribers. I have an idea for a video that I'm going to leave mostly ambiguous right now, but basically it will involve a montage of nerd fighters doing nerd fighter type things. You know, things like putting stuff on your head, putting peanut butter on your face, eating toilet paper and talking about the situation in Nepal. Actually, you could be talking about anything because we probably won't be able to hear you in the montage, but we'll assume that you're talking about Nepal. Reading, donating to charity, putting notes in books, you know, the types of things that nerd fighters have become associated with, I guess you would say. If this sounds like something that interests you, then leave a comment saying so and 
if I get enough people interested in this idea, I will probably contact you with more information. And finally, request number three. It should be familiar to anybody who has been subscribed to me for any length of time. Pirates, ninjas, and an epic battle between them. I have made this request twice and nothing has come of it. Basically, I have written a song about an epic battle between the last pirate and ninja on Earth. The song is 10 minutes long and I'd really like to put it up on YouTube, but I also really don't want it to be just 10 minutes of me singing. I would like there to be a montage of some kind. Again, if this is something that interests you, leave a comment saying so. And there you have it. That's what's going on in my fascinating life. I hope that you feel like you are a better person for having listened to it. That was grammatically troubling. See you next time. Bye-bye.